Good morning, Morris Knowles, and welcome to Kyle and Jake in the Morning. Uh, Kyle, that's not the name of the show. It should be. We're on like every other A-Day. That's true, but I have a better idea. What's that? Let's say we're live from the MKTV studios. It's Kyle and Jake on News from the Nest. Good morning, Morris Knowles. Welcome to another live edition of News from the Nest. I'm Kyle Van Riper. And I'm Jake Volkner. Today is Friday, March 18th, and here are your live morning announcements. The Social Studies Honor Society is helping with a voter registration drive next Friday, April 1st, during all lunches. If you will be 18 years old before June 7th, please register to vote in the New Jersey primary. If you will be 18 by November 8th, then register to vote in the November election and help choose the next President of the United States. Attention Interact Club members, the next meeting is on Tuesday at 2.30 p.m. in the back of the auditorium. New members are always welcome. If you have questions, please see Mrs. Rock or Ms. DePascal in guidance. Attention NHS members, there are still spaces available for Faculty Night Live contributions on the Google Docs service sign-up. Please be sure to sign up before Monday. FCCLA is having a no baby baby shower. They are collecting donations such as baby wipes, diapers, pacifiers, clothing, etc. Please drop off items in room A18 by Tuesday. And today is the last day of Brain Awareness Week, which has been brought to you by the psychology classes. Here's our last brain fact of the day for you. If you took all the blood vessels in your brain and laid them out end to end, they would stretch halfway to the moon, which is about 120,000 miles. Wow, that's a lot of stuff in your head. It's also Down Syndrome Awareness Week, and here's your last daily fact brought to you from the Leo Club. Life expectancy for people with Down Syndrome has increased dramatically in recent decades. In 1983, the average life expectancy of a person with Down Syndrome was a mere 25 years old. Today, it's 60. And don't forget, Monday is Crazy Sock Day to help celebrate Down Syndrome Awareness Day. Please participate and show your support by wearing your best pair of crazy socks. And today's SAT word of the day is dubious, which means causing doubt, uncertainty, or suspicion. Today's Brain Week fact is a rather dubious statistic. Seriously, 120,000 miles of blood vessels in our brains. But if you've ever been to one of those bodies exhibits, you would actually see how they display our internal organs, making the statistic a little more believable. So, Jake, it's coming next week, the best event of the year. Nick Vittorio's birthday party at Sky Zone? No, that would be extremely fun, but that's not it. I'm talking about Faculty Night Live 3. Here's a promo video with more info. We hope you can make it to the show. Tickets go on sale during lunches next week. And now over to Johnny for a little March Madness talk. Is everyone enjoying March Madness? I sure am. Yesterday was filled with a bunch of upsets. How did Yale take Baylor, who couldn't even grab a rebound? Thanks, for, thanks to Purdue, my bracket is ruined. It's all right. I know my boys up at Michigan State are going all the way. Enjoy, enjoy day two of March Madness, MK. Well, that's all for today, MK. Thank you for watching another live edition of News from the Nest. I'm Jake Volkner. And I'm Kyle Van Riper. Don't forget, Golden Eagles, the bird is the word. Have, Have a great, great weekend, week. MK.